Ok, this should be it. Hello everyone, salutare tuturor. Welcome to a new stream of Assetto Corsa Competizione. We've got a new update recently. 1.3.1 I think. And it's the first time I tried it, so I think it came out yesterday. Didn't really have the chance to try it out. We're doing... We're gonna, we're gonna race in a new league today. It's the Curbstone Track Events Esports something league. And Curbstone is a... Is a Belgian company, or at least they organize a lot of track days in Belgium. I'm not sure if they're, if they're Belgian. Um, some interesting names on, on the list here. Some formal, former rivals from Belcar and generally Belgian motorsports. Some friends as well, so it's going to be fun. There's a lot of people already. I think 30 cars or something. And yeah, we're going to have a 10 minute qualifying session. We've still got 11 minutes and 30 seconds left of this free practice session. We're going to use it to understand the car and fine-tune it a bit because quite a few things have changed with, with the setup and stuff. And then, yeah, we'll try to do our best to finish the race in front somewhere. I'm expecting people like... Uh, like Sam De Jonge, for example, to join. He's the test driver of uh, Mahindra's Formula E team. Also drove in Belcar 1 with the Norma. There's Steven Clay's in here as well, good friend of mine. Some other people I know. So yeah. ACC version 1.3 There's been a couple of changes. It is noticeable Especially when you drive the car Oh god, I've put the riding on the left. I'll change it You can't see the relative positioning now I'll move it to the right Um if I don't forget after this practice session. Mitchell Van Single as well, he was the he was my race engineer. He still is a race engineer for Van der Horst Motorsport there in P11. A lot of a lot of familiar names from like Benelux racing scene. So this is the reason I joined this this championship. It's free to join, by the way. If anybody's interested, head over to to their website or just Google Curbstone with a C track events. I've done three or four flying laps in quali already. The cars feel generally a bit more grippy after this update is is my impression right now after just a couple of laps in the AMG. I haven't tried anything else. It's literally the first time I started uh, a Cerro Corsa competition after the update. Seems like they got a lot more bite on the front end.
Oh, that was a big slide. Lost a lot of time. Could have been a a lap for P1. That one. I was five tenths up. But anyway, it's just it's just free practice. We need to see. How we manage the traffic because there's going to be a lot of traffic especially in qualifying as you can see here a lot of cars on track at the same time Car on the left. Clear on the left. which is something i enjoy actually coming from endurance racing where you've got traffic all the time basically there's no session where you get a clean lap Except if you do a super pole session. And I think should be more present in, in sim racing. But yeah, they feel at least at Spa, I don't know, the conditions we've got now. The AMG feels a lot more sticky. It's got a lot more grip. The front end is a bit more responsive. I don't know if easier to drive is... It do feel a bit easier to drive, I think. But the general characteristics of the game still stay the same. I've also been playing a lot of AC, the old Assetto Corsa lately, so that might influence my by perception Keep doing a lot of mistakes for some reason, but I think pace-wise we should be all right. I think they've changed some stuff with the tires in terms of tire wear. If you're aggressive and demand a lot from the car, you are going to get punished. The tires will wear out a bit more quickly. And I think I'm feeling that now, after I've pushed one lap and I've asked for a lot of grip from the front end, I start to feel already that they're degrading, which is something you didn't necessarily get in previous versions. So if you do a quality lap, you better nail it first time out if you push really hard, because then you're just gonna, not going to have the grip anymore. And that's, I think, going to be more interesting in the race. I think it's also going to damage my lap times and my performance in this game because in sim racing and to some extent in rear racing, I use a lot of steering input to get the car through the corner. And now that's going to get punished in ACC at least.
Okay, this is gonna be our last flying lap. And then we're gonna head to qualifying. Hit the wall there. It's very hard to see and judge with only one monitor in the narrow field of view. I think the way the car breaks out now, at least in Brussels, through that right-hander there is a bit more natural feeling after you've used the tires a bit and you've pushed a bit feels very realistic Whoa, getting a lot of oversteer now. Crazy amounts. This is gonna be a handful in the race. I can feel it already. Tire management is going to be a key part of this game now. And yeah, it, it, it wasn't really before. All right, so let's abandon this lap, head to the pits. Our qualifying fuel on, which is as little as possible. All right. How much do we need? Four liters per lap. I can use 25 and then let me move this to the right so you guys can see. Yeah, obviously you can't see it now, but then you'll be able to see the kind of MFD display I use. All right. Oh, there's Sam, Steven as well, Jerome Hessels, hello everyone, former teammates, rivals, what have you, friends, this is fun, it's a lot of fun, and yeah, we've got 35 cars on the grid, so this should be, this should be competitive, the guys at the front are, are quite quick, 18.5 is not bad. Uh, let's check our pressures. 28, 27.6. Alright. And then we need to remember the track was 32 degrees, so a bit warm. Let's see what qualifying brings. Nobody's going to get it 100% right because nobody knows the conditions, hopefully. All right, let's try and qualify. Come on. Let's get it, I'm gonna shut up a bit more during qualifying. We need to get a good lap in, we're gonna have a lot of traffic. What do we reckon, push from the first lap and hope we don't get traffic, wait. 15 minutes of qualifying, so I was wrong with the 10 minutes. We can even do. No, no, interesting. We can even do, I think, two runs of two flyers each or something like that. So if I push hard on the first one, then do another flying lap. Ah, I don't know. Fuck it. We'll see. I don't know if this guy, Vervish, is the brother of Frederick Vervish. 
Thanks, man. Cheers. Come on. I like the old pit lane that's far. It does feel more special than the new one. Four laps? We've got 15 minutes, so I could split it into two runs, I think. And do one or two flyers each per run. Because I'm gonna wreck these tires quite quickly with the new model. Ah, you know what? Brainless, all out. Let's see if we get traffic on this lap at the end of it. I need to be gentle, I think, on the out lap. Not too... Yeah, fuck that. <laughs> Come on, mate. The fun Q squad with some liveries in there. People going off. Oh my god, this is gonna be carnage. Very nice, thank you. Very polite people, I like that, very nice. And we're gonna run wide. No problem. We've got yellow flags already somewhere. Let's see if we catch these guys on the camel straight. That will be quite nice because we get a draft. Screwed up the last chicane. Exit is going to be quite terrible. Heading down to La Source. Way too late on the brakes. Look at that grip in the outlap, that's crazy. First flying lap actually, not outlap, sorry. Mr. Audi man, will you please let me pass? That's gonna ruin both our laps, amazing. This is insane, the amount of grip you have on the first flyer is crazy. The car just sticks. I'm not sure if they changed the gearing or something, but it does seem a bit funny, or engine power on the Merc. It's definitely worse on the brakes now, the Mercedes than it was before the update. 18.7, that should be decent. Free practice best was an 18.5. And I'm gonna lose a lot of time now. Thank you very much. That is true sportsmanship there. I did lose a tenth, but still. Okay, let's see what this lap brings.
By the way, let me know in the comments if like sound and everything's working right. Ah, uh, took a bit too much curve there on the inside. Yep, I do feel the degradation already. It's gonna be very interesting over a race then. I'm gonna finish this flying lap, then go back to the pits and then try a new one. Because the tires are dead after two fast laps now. It's really a bit, uh, a big difference. Oh, okay, that was a good one. That was a good exit, yeah, low 18. 18.3, not bad. Okay, head back, return, check the pressures quickly, bit lower, bang on, let's see if we get another shot. I think that was a good lap. But people are going to get closer than two seconds. Uh, they did the 18.5 in, in free practice just a few moments ago. So I'm expecting them to, to go down into the 18s again. That didn't sound right, go down into the 18s. Well, whatever. Five out of five. I hope that's for the stream quality. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Oh, Mitchell Van Singel now on the in second place. Nice, hi mate. No, you're not gonna be watching this because you're driving. But Mitchell did help me out in my racing career in Belgium. He still does a great job for Van der Horst Motorsport. like Huracan Super Trofeo but also touring car racing with the E90 BMWs I used to drive so shout out to the man he's a good guy Mihai you might actually know this does Frederick Vervish have a brother I want to know who that guy in fourth place is G. Vervish. I have a suspicion it might be his brother, but I'm not sure. Something happened here. Sam de Jonge, hello. It's not every day you get to race again with people from, from Belcar 1. With the Normas and stuff like that. <laughs> Stream and audio, cheers. Yeah, Google it, please. I have a suspicion it might be his brother, but I'm not sure. Alright, let's back it off a bit. To go for another lap, not like that. 
But anyway, it's just small stuff like that which seem so harmless in sim, sim racing. But I bet you, if you do that in real life, in a GT3 car at that speed, you are going to shit yourself. Or any car for that matter. I think the important stuff like driving dynamics, tire wear and that sort of stuff is represented quite well in simulators nowadays. But it's just the finer details which are still missing. Especially riding curbs. That's nowhere near as aggressive as it is in real life. Your eyeballs are shaking like hell. For example, you don't feel that in the wheel in the sim. I wasn't too good. Oh, sorry. Sorry for that. I wasn't really paying attention. I was kind of focusing on my racing line. Way too much steering input there. Come on, I'm on minus 0, 0.0. Give me a tow, McLaren. We're still P1, though. That's good. That was way too deep. Screwed up the lap. All right, last shot. Not a brilliant exit out of La Source. All right, well, it's a mystery then. And that's qualifying over. It invalidated my lap. Ooh, that was close. Three tenths. Three tenths on P2. That was close. So that guy, Team TV, whatever his name is, almost clocked the same time as he did in free practice. Let's see. First sector is still bad. Yeah, I know. I get quite a bad run out of La Source. I need to I need to change my line. Now, 45 minutes. I'm going to use map 2, which was 3.8 liters, I think. Something like that. We're going to use about 80 liters of fuel for 45 minutes. But you know what, actually, I'm going to use 85. I don't think a couple of liters will make a big difference. Yeah, I don't know either, so. Might, might be him, actually. Who knows? Cheever Vish, can we find his full name? Nah. 
no idea. So yeah, decent lap. I think an 18 flat was possible. Somebody faster would have done an 18 flat, but I'll take it. I think it's okay. Let's see what our friends... Stephen the Wolf, 15th. Sam the Youngest, 17th. 16th. Steve Ray, 17th. 15th, 16th, 17th is all people I know. That's fun. Um, Mitchell's P5. That's very good. A lot of people driving Ferraris, I see. Jerome Hessels. P28, former teammate, of course. I don't think he's had a lot of time in in set of course. I know he plays a lot of i racing, which is quite different. I don't understand anything now. Are these pressures like? Why is there such a big gap? There you go, ladies and gents. Confirmation: We are on pole position. We'll try not to bid it in the first couple of corners. <sighs> And I'll put a bit more fuel as well, 85. Just to be sure. I hope my calculations are okay. I've got no clue, like really. With this update, I don't know. All right, time to put up the put on the gloves. <laughs> Try to win this stuff. I don't know how much to push now in the first laps because I'm going to ruin my tires. On the other hand, if I don't push and I lose track position, uh, that's not going to be good either. So, God knows. All right. It's race time, boy. Let's go. Yes, yes, yes. Come on. That Ferrari was quite far back at the start. Not that I'm complaining, that gave me some breathing space. But already seeing this, I need map 1. At least for the first lap. Look at that draft he's getting, oh my god! Don't hang around the outside mate, I'm not gonna leave you space, wise choice! Such a big difference now between the two maps. What I need to do is build a gap so I can use map 2 because otherwise I don't have enough fuel.
Okay, this is gonna be interesting. Because I think map 2 is a lot slower. I did not anticipate that. But I think it's like 3 or 4 tenths. Just need to manage my tires. Keep an eye on the gap. Look at that, he's gaining like a couple of tenths just on the straight. It's crazy. Should have put more fuel in. I think he is making a lot of mistakes and it looks like he's pushing quite hard so maybe his tires will fall off trying to be as smooth as I can whoa huge snap I think they've overdone it on on tire deck with the new update if I'm frank. Just feels exaggerated. It's it's crazy, you feel it straight after lap one. I mean you used to have like two or three fast laps before of kind of peak performance, peak tire performance. Then you had a dip, a sudden dip. You felt it, not as big as it is now, and then it kinda of stabilized and dropped linearly from there now it's just a cliff from lap one on the other hand it's gonna punish drivers who drive like crazy who push a lot uh, but yeah Let's see how it pans out over 45 minutes. Yeah, the map, the, the gap between maps, sorry, used to be a lot smaller. But now it's, I think, nearing half a second. That guy makes a lot of mistakes in the Ferrari. He might be fast, but he lost a lot of stuff just by going wide and that sort of thing. Come on, Merc! It's crazy, that guy in front of me is already being lapped. So we're gonna have a lot of traffic in this race. Judging by what I saw in qualifying and free practice though, they're gonna be really nice and let people through.
I think ACC really likes a wide line at the entry of La Source. I think it's a bit exaggerated compared to real life, at least in what I've driven. Um, it's it's a bit exaggerated, I think. Need to look at some some GT3 on boards, but from what I've seen, they don't take such a wide line and don't open up the exit just as much. You do need to carry some some speed with you, whereas here it's just more important to get on the power nice and soon. But then again, I might be to t talking total shit. You need to compare some telemetry data for that. So yeah. Those are just my impressions. I know a lot of YouTubers do that and say it's not realistic, blah, 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 whatever. And I say just look at the fucking telemetry. Because your mind and your eyes are very deceiving. And of course you can do that. You can export telemetry from ACC. Just like you can from a real GT3 car. And you can put it side by side and look. This guy's not this low, he's doing a good job. I don't know what happened if... I'm lapping him already. Oh, okay. Now I might understand. <laughs> Sorry mate. So the guy in the feather is now doing identical lap times to me. Need to make sure I keep this up. Tire deck seems to have stabilized now. So it isn't as bad as I anticipated. But once you take that top layer off the tire, that wear layer, that shiny one, um, there is a big difference. Another yellow flag, I'm taking shit lines, Ferrari's crashing everywhere. Come on mate, no! Shit. Woo! Okay. Okay. Did lose a bit of time there, but it doesn't matter. Didn't know where to go. Now I compromise that corner as well, I should stop talking for a bit. Yellow flags everywhere. I think with the new physics model, also the exit out of the last corner of karting, it does feel a lot more realistic as well when you just clip the inside curb. The car starts to rotate slightly, which you do feel in, in real life as well. Vadim Koga, yeah! Wow, that's a legend I haven't heard of in a couple of years. Is he still driving in some championship? I remember that clip at Monza of his. What do you mean what compound? There is there is only one compound in Blanc Pond. There's wet and there's dry tires. So it's this is following the exact same rules as Blanc Pond or GT World Challenge, whatever it's called now. So you don't get a compound choice.
still well within my fuel target, which is 3.8. Well, actually, it's a bit higher than that because I've got some safety fuel as well. But we're going to aim for 3.8 just to be sure. Oh, my God. And try not to do that again. Ferrari has caught up to us. So let's try to open a gap again. Really? They've toughened up on the track limits piece. So I've got two left and I get a penalty. Shit. That's not good. That wasn't a good lap, we've lost a lot of time. Total chaos up in front, so it's going to be very important to get by traffic really quickly. So people are watching their mirrors and they're going to let me by. Come on. So, let's see, we need to get by these cars really, really quickly because we've been losing time to the Ferrari in the back. That's not how we're going to go quickly. I think I can switch engine maps, it seems like I've got a lot of fuel.
What the hell is he doing? Car on the left. No! Dude! Let me buy for fuck's sake. <laughs> He's racing the Ferrari now, what the hell man? <laughs> School of life you mean? Alright, these last few laps have been absolute rubbish from me I need to push a bit harder. Also, I think I need to go back to high school or something because my math is shit. <laughs> I've got a lot of fuel and I was driving around in map 2 for some reason. Everybody knows I'm very, very, very good at race strategy. I think I'm gonna put wets on. Anyway, I think it's time to shut up because that guy is now a second away from me. Come on, boy. Need to stop looking at the damn comments. <coughs> what the hell? So I'm playing with my window open, right? And somebody smelling. Somebody smoking weed somewhere, what the hell? Shit. So we're past halfway. I think YouTube censored Barry's comment, which was only too predictable that it would happen. I got what? Demonetized? Yeah, I was making a lot of money through my YouTube channel, sorry. Still not sure if I like this update or not. It's it's got some good points. It's got some back points. Driving wise, I haven't tested new features or what what have you. I've read the change log. I didn't understand anything. They've changed something on the MFD apparently. God knows what. I think now it's working. So I think that's a change for the Italians. They're like, we've got this new feature, it is working as it should have been since we released the game. Mark. 
We're at the halfway mark now. Okay. Thanks mate, I locked up like an idiot, went deep. Yeah, it's a GT4 Mercedes. That's why I didn't invite you to this race. No, but now I'm really curious if you can do like 218s mid-race, mid-stint with these new tires. I think it's going to be difficult even for you. Because I was doing 219s at the start of the race quite comfortably. And I'm struggling to do, nine, to do 20s, low 20s. Oh fuck it, I'm gonna take the penalty. Or no. Good man. Always good to bribe the marshals, remember this. Top racing advice. It does help out a lot. Move! Move! Oh man. I was expecting him to leave me the inside line there. You get flashes and he gets flashes and everybody gets flashes, you know that Oprah meme. I'm not very nice there, I almost hit him and I went deep. Well, the good thing is, I've now got a bit of breathing space, because the guy in P2 got held up as well, as well by the other Ferrari, so. Still very tight on fuel. How did he get so close? Did I just lose like two seconds there or something? No! Fuck. Jesus. Whoa! So did you try it? I 
Oh, I need a long straight mate to read everything you've written there. Yeah, I think the suspension is a bit better, definitely. I'm not sure. What do you think about the tires? I think tire deck, especially after you do one fast lap, I think it's a bit too high. At least it does feel very high to me. Then again, that thing might differ, might, might differ from track to track, car to car, depending on, on track conditions as well. Alright, guy in P2 has disappeared somewhere. I don't know what happened. He's nowhere to be seen on the relative timing. I think he crashed or something. Oh, come on. Now it's going to be a boring race. What the hell happened to him? 11 seconds. And he's in the pits as well. Oh, well. He did push me all the way through, to be honest. Not like super closely, but he was there. The gap was never bigger than 2.5, I think, or something. Well, now let's play that the fuel lasts and I don't make any stupid mistakes. Ha, this is gonna be fun. I'm gonna lap my former teammate now. Jeromy, here I come, mate. He's in P22, Jeromy Hessels. Very fast guy in real life. And fast guy in iRacing, but just not enough experience in ACC, I don't think. We won together at Spa as well in 2018. Great memories. What a race that was. <laughs> Look at this, I'm gonna do a 21 or something. Lame. 20.6. There you go, slow boy. Yeah, it might have been that BMW, that guy was a bit reckless. Yeah, I don't think it's fun, I think it must have been some of the lap, one of the lapped cars. What? Was I supposed to pit or something? Because if I was supposed to do that, I'm not going to do that. I didn't see any. The reason I'm asking is because... Let's see what the gap is. But the engineer would have told me, like, pit and window open or something. Twenty four seconds, that can't be right. Well screw it, I'm not gonna pit, I'm gonna do the full forty five minutes. Even if we get a DQ or anything. Well, that guy in P2 didn't go through the pits either. 
Yeah, I know. In the, uh, I think so as well. Before you join the la the race, it should tell you like on the top right hand corner. But I didn't see anything before the race, so no idea. I just saw a lot of cars going through the pits, so I'm not sure if they chose to do that or. Anyway, I'm not pitting. One, 45 minutes is is too little for these tires to make a pit stop anyway. You know what, I want to try the Audi again after this update. I'm really curious to see how it behaves now at Spa because it felt like the suspension was broken before through like Eau Rouge and Radilion and that sort of stuff. You could fix it with some setup up to a point, but it still felt very odd. Whereas other GT3 cars can go like easy flat out through there. The Audi was always oh, very skittish. Ten minutes left. And we're coming up to some lapped cars again. Well, about to be lapped. Big group of cars as well. Yeah, they might have got, that's a good point Alex actually, I didn't think of that, yeah. I saw after the start a lot of cars with like a drive through penalty as well. So yeah, might have, might have been that. I'm on my second warning, so I've got two, two left. We should be okay on that because I don't need to push basically. I can just trundle along. Look at that beautiful Audi. Nice and small, like a racing car should be, not these barges which Barry likes. Oh, listen to that gearbox whine. So nice. I love that sound.
<laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm not. I'm not such a big fan of Volkswagen Audi Group. Come on, man! What the fuck? Well, that was almost a crash. <laughs> Let's be honest, as long as it's a GT3 car, nobody would care what kind of car it is. We'd all take the chance to drive one. But it does cost about six six thousand euros or something. Mozzarella racing. Great, now I want some mozzarella. The game was made by mozzarella racing. I'm bored. Five minutes left. Hasn't been an action packed race. Sorry, guys. But as you see, the back markers are enough of a challenge that I almost crashed into one of them. And yeah, I promise the next stream is not going to be on Spa again. Because I've been doing like the last three streams in a row or something. At least I've changed the car though in my defense. Haha. <laughs> now I get the jokes. Come on, they're good. But recently I saw that people are making check engine light jokes about BMWs as well. I was a bit confused about those. Like memes. We've got two laps left, boys. Except this one. So we're gonna finish this one, then to do two more laps. But uh, I can't speak anymore. They are very nice. They're one of my modern favorites. I wouldn't say all-time favorites. I just heard a sound, I think somebody subscribed or did something like that, so thank you. I've got no idea who it was, I just heard a sound. I was trying to configure this damn Streamlabs program to show this on my stream for like a month now. What, no graphic, just a sound? Stupid program. Whoa. Oh yeah, it did show up on the screen. Cool, finally. By the way, if you know how to change that stupid zombie animation, please tell me. It's the standard one. I only got so far. At least it worked now. Car 
Thank you, mate. Will I get a warning? Mr. Jerome! Throwing up some dust on the entry to Tupuon. I can tell you that's something we do in real life as well. There's like a small hole, let's say, after the curb there. Because all cars put like the inside wheel, the unloaded wheel beyond the curb to kind of open up the corner a bit I don't think it works like that in ACC I think it destabilizes the car a bit too much I have tried the Lexus for a couple of laps a lot of people have told me it's really good so I'm gonna give it another try that's a good idea actually for the next stream I'm, I'm gonna do that I'm gonna try the Lexus Final lap, okay, okay, good. I think Mr. Jerome wants to have a race here. Uh, seems okay pace wise, I think he's got some problems early during the race. Oh yeah, and by the way, I need a fuel calculator. I could have used map one a lot more in this race. Making stupid noises when I go off track. Final stretch. Let's get the win. Map one full boost. Yeah. I could have used it for a couple more laps, I think. I was a bit too conservative. That guy's just stopped there for some reason. Okay, last corner. There we have it. Job, Woo! Okay, and we did get a penalty, so we didn't need to, to pit for anything. Good stuff, good stuff. I'm just gonna do a, an in lap. Just for the immersion. That wasn't too bad, I think it's a shame that the guy with the Ferrari P2 dropped off. Still don't know what that was about. I like this, everybody's doing an in-lap, that is very nice. So I hope they do a like team endurance race as well in this championship. With, like two people, three people per car, that'll be quite fun. Still searching to stream something like that, so let me know if you've got some ideas, I know. Yes mate, I'm gonna stream it this time, I forgot last Sunday, so thanks a lot for watching. Uh, but yeah, 
RLRE will be no commentary as always because <laughs> the level there is just so high. It's I, ca I can't talk and drive. I'm, I'm much slower there anyway. So I need full concentration just, just on driving. That was it, didn't get to do my in-lap. So I think that was it guys. Race is over. Pole. P1. This is all wrong. Don't worry, it's a stupid. I said of course a bug. And yeah, that was the first race in Curbstone Esports series, whatever it's called. Thanks everybody for watching, thanks for the likes, thanks for the subscribes, and I'll see you for the next one on Sunday at 8.30 Eastern European time. Thank you, bye bye, stay safe and have a good evening. Yeah, mate, push. You'll get there.